Hey everyone, this is Jordan from LutzLounge.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about adjustment layers. Uh, if you're not familiar with adjustment layers, it's a, a really cool, um, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. It's a really cool addition, I guess, to your timeline uh, that you can add to allow you to change things in your clip uh, without actually di uh, like directly affecting your clip. Uh, think of it as like a layer in Photoshop. If you have a, a photo on the bottom of your, your layers panel and you put a blank layer on top and you make changes to it, um, it's kind of the same thing. So an adjustment layer is actually something that does not come with Final Cut when you purchase it. Um, unlike Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere does have adjustment layers you know, within the program as soon as you get it. So you will have to download an adjustment layer um, a title, I guess, uh, to be able to use this in Final Cut. Good news for you is you can head over to my website right now, lutzlounge.com, link in the description down below, and you can download it for free directly from the website and uh, install it directly into your Final Cut and you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and start with the adjustment layer. So the adjustment layer is right here in my titles. I have I just have a category here labeled Let's Lounge and it has the uh, adjustment layer right here. All it is is basically a blank layer that you can drag down to your timeline. So here is one example of how you can use an adjustment layer. So I have this first clip here. And what I want to do is do a letterhead, kind of a, a like an opening, like where a, a reveal, I guess. So what I want to do is have this adjustment layer uh, crop in on the image and then expand slowly to reveal the clip as it plays. So uh, I, I've kind of made a video on this in the past, but this is kind of how you would uh, just like an example of what you can use adjustment layer for. So right here, I'm going to go put my adjustment layer right on top of my clip. I'm going to go to my media here and you can see the crop right here is what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and crop the top and the bottom. And because this is a 4K clip, I'm actually going to uh, use 1090 as the crop value for the top and then 1090 for the crop value on the bottom. That will crop it up and down so that it meets perfectly in the center. So now that that is the crop, I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe right here to the top and the bottom. And I'm going to scoot this over a little bit, so maybe around here or so. Uh, let's go a little bit further. So right around here. And now that that is adjusted, I'm going to add another uh, keyframe just by changing the values back to zero. So there and there. And there we go. So now when we play this, it reveals that clip. You can see it was a little fast. What we can do is just kind of zoom in here a little bit and click, uh, right click on our adjustment layer and say show video animation. You can see the keyframe that we created there. So I'm just gonna drag it over a little bit and now play it. You can see it slowly reveals it. If I want it to do a, a very slow reveal, drag it out and it'll slowly reveal it that way. And there we go. So very cool way of using a, a simple adjustment layer uh, without doing anything to the clip. We can actually go ahead and delete this and it's, uh, it's going to be back to normal. The clip will be back to normal the way it was. So I like doing these kind of like non-destructive edits where you don't have to click on the layer, go in here to your inspector and start deleting stuff. You can just do it all to that one adjustment layer and uh, you know do it non-destructively, kind of like you would if you were doing it in Photoshop. Okay, so now here is another example of how to use uh, an adjustment layer. This is going to be to kind of to create your own transition, a custom transition. So I take my adjustment layer again, drag it over top, and I'm going to shorten this down a pretty good amount. So I'm going to zoom in here to right around there, and I'm going to shorten this adjustment layer very, very short to probably right around there. We have this uh, adjustment layer spanning both of these clips. Now what we're going to do is go into our, um, our, our effects here and I'm going to go down to uh, comic looks. Now typically I probably would never use comic looks as, a, a, as an effect on a clip, but as a transition it actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to drag the comic look over to the adjustment layer, drag it on top, and you can see that it affects that clip below. But I want it to be a transition, so I want it to fade into that comic look and then fade out as the clip plays. So I'm going to click in between here. And at the mix here, you can see right over in the top, I'm gonna to click in between, make sure the playhead is right in between the two clips. At the mix, you can see it's at 100. I'm gonna click the keyframe here, that way the value will be 100% right in the direct middle of the clip. Now I'm gonna go down to the very beginning of the clip and take the mix all the way down to zero. I'm gonna go down to the end of the clip 
and take the mix down to zero as well. And now you can see it fades in to a comic transition, kind of like that. Now, if we want to make it a little bit um, uh, spicier, if we want to kind of make it a little bit more comic-like, uh, we can go to our transition over here, go to Across Dissolve, and put Across Dissolve in between those two. And now it kind of just does a cool little transition. So obviously that is only one way of doing a custom transition for two clips in uh, in Final Cut using the adjustment layer. But you can definitely play around with it. You would basically just do the same thing, add an effect, and then play with the mix to kind of fade in and fade out. And uh, see what it does to your clips. And it's, it's really cool. You can really create uh, a really endless amount of transitions for your clips. All right, so the last example I'm going to show you using an adjustment layer is actually applying uh, LUTs to your clip. So I'm going to drag it down over this last clip here, and I'm going to find uh, a LUT that I want to apply to this layer here. So I'm going to go to my effects, I'm going to go to color, and I'm going to go to custom LUT, drag that over on top of my adjustment layer, and do like I normally would. I'm going to pick a, a LUT here. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, California from my uh, clean LUTs collection, and you can see that that's the effect it applied. It applied a really clean, kind of warm tone to the images. Uh, so that's a, a, a way of doing it instead of just directly adding it to the clip. But maybe I want to do another LUT, uh, but I don't want to do it at a 100% or, or play with it uh, with adding more effects. So I'm going to take my adjustment layer, do another, one adjust, another adjustment layer on top, do the same thing, custom LUT over here, and I can choose a different one. Uh, let's do dark and moody cliffs. See what that does, really punches in that contrast there. And I'm gonna take the mix down on that one just so it's not as heavy. And there we go. So what what I really like about this, obviously you can apply these uh, LUTs, custom LUTs directly to the clip if you want to. But what I really like about this is that if I want this whole timeline to have the same effect, uh, the same kind of look with these LUTs, then all I gotta do is take my adjustment layer and drag it over on my whole project. And now these LUTs have the same look as the, uh, the same LUTs used on this uh, last clip. So they all go in together. So I'm just gonna delete this transition layer that we just made about the comic one. And there you go. So it, it has that, if I play it now, it has that same look. And you can see the before and after of how it would look without the LUTs and uh, how it would look with the LUTs. So using adjustment layers, especially in this case, in this last case, is definitely a time saver. That way you don't have to copy and paste or copy the attributes from one clip to another. You can use that adjustment layer to uh, basically apply color grading to multiple clips just using uh, you know one adjustment layer uh, or two if you need to, or seven. It, just, it doesn't matter. You can use as many adjustment layers as you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on adjustment layers. Again, you can find a free adjustment layer down in the description down below and take you over to LutzLounge.com and just click the button on the post to uh, download your free adjustment layer. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.